first three quarters, and um, I think um, the group in the fourth quarter they really showed us if we just continue to move the ball um, and stop staying stagnant, stop holding the ball, and um, you know just make hard cuts, we can we can score pretty easily. And um, if we play the right way on defense, we can rebound the ball, and, and it'll be a much closer game next time. <laughs> I have no idea. You got to tell me. I was watching the game too, but I mean, we we missed a lot of jump shots. You know, uh, we, I think we could have been more aggressive. I mean, you can always say that, but at the end of the day, you have to live with the shots you take, and they just weren't going in. And, and Ray sort of got away from you guys. Early yeah, time. he hit a couple wide open shots, but I don't know how much better you can defend some of them. I mean, we know he's a great shooter, and he made some great shots. So, you know, when a guy goes eight for ten from the three point line. Um, that's, that's very abnormal. On, on your defensive team, the weak side three is pretty much going to be there a lot of nights, right? Yeah, we, we have to give up. We can't give up that uh, baseline penetration too much. He has to see bodies, and, and we have to discourage that pass. Yeah, leaving that guy open on the other side. Yeah, he's, he's open, but he's going to have to go through a big guy and another big guy. It's going to be have to be a, be a perfect pass, and, and there was a couple times where we didn't make him make a perfect pass. pass is too easy. Yeah, it was a little bit too easy. Going back to that fourth quarter, uh, how much confidence does that add to the game going tomorrow night? I think it has a lot of confidence. I mean, it's a difference between 16 and six points. Um, you know, we've, the, those guys fought back. We fought back as a team. And I think we can, you know, break down that fourth quarter tomorrow and film and, and see, take some positives out of what we did. What's the emotion? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all about lifting. You know, he was out there giving hard, clean fouls. Uh, he played extremely hard, going for loose balls, got some steals, uh, got some dunks. I mean, he was he was all over the place, and, and we need Joey to be more assertive like that. Is there a better feeling with this loss? And everyone have a moral victory in a loss, but yeah. I mean, earlier in the year, you guys were losing a lot worse than Yeah, country. yeah. I mean, you know, every time we want to be in every game, and um, no matter what happens, uh, what happens early. You know, we don't worry about it. We just continue to play and see what we can do from now on out. And, um, you know, nobody panicked. We stayed in the game, came back, had a chance, and came up a little short. It's not easy or hard to play a team on back It's weird. <laughs> it's a little weird. It's strange. But once you get once you get going, I mean, you know, a game is a game. So, um, But for making adjustments, is it easy? Make yeah, it's a little easier to make adjustments because you saw them last night, and, and um, you can kind of uh, – tweak a couple of things. It's like practice and, and almost to a certain extent again because you know what plays are going to run and um, you know what they're going to come at you. So we uh, we can probably fix those baseline drives and um, stop penetration and all that. Foster doesn't give up too many easy baskets, does he? No, of course not. Of course not. And that's what makes them tough. You know, um, They don't give up any easy baskets and then uh, before you know it, you know those jump shots you normally make, they're, they're not going in for some reason. And I think that's... Uh, they do a good job of establishing inside defense, the presence, and, and I think um, we're starting to do that too. Sorry if you already answered this, but what was the biggest difference in that fourth quarter for you guys? Just moving the ball, uh, moving without the ball, making hard screens, um, being aggressive, um, pushing the tempo up, and um, you know, just just playing basketball instead of uh, holding it and, and, and being passive. How do you feel about the uh, shot selection in the last couple minutes there? Uh, it was normal. That's what we wanted. I mean, we got wide open shots. We had Moon for a wide open three, down by five. He made one before. Uh, you know, he just missed it. Chris, you just, do you find you get a, have a harder time with this team getting the ball, like, being balanced? Because you know, like, KG's defense on you to deny the ball from you? Yeah, he has a hard time, too. We make it hard on each other. You know, that's the, that's the beauty of competition. You know, um... You don't want to give anybody anything easy, and I know, you know, I know every time that I play these guys, they're gonna do that because, uh, you know, they know if if I get some things easy, it's gonna be uh, they might be at a little disadvantage. I feel the same way about him. If I let him have an easy catch down low, then I'm in trouble. But um, you know, they make me work for everything, and yeah, that's fine. I think I did a better job of uh, getting the ball a little bit more. Just gotta make a couple more shots. Chris. You had the one possession there when you jumped on him at the end of the game. What did you see? What did you attack there that you had that lane? Um, he was uh, he was crowding me a little bit, and um, usually when guys crowd me, I don't look at my man. I look at what's past him. Uh, and um, 
I had I saw a lane going right. I went right, and uh, the help help was late coming. So I got to the basket.